K01 with a 31mm f1.8 as well as a Caxus V5 flash trigger. Then I've got the K5 with a 14 f2.8 and then the flash trigger. These two cameras will control an off-camera flash. It actually has two different flash on it. I'll put up a picture of that. So I was thinking of settings. I'm going to try going completely manual but with a little bit of automation to help out. First off with the K5. In manual mode I was thinking of how to use the green button. Normally the green button changes both the shutter speed and aperture as it gauges the exposure but I didn't want that because if the shutter speed is too fast it's past the, sy the sync speed and then you'll just get black bars in your photo and I'll have to manually fix the automatic exposure that the camera gains with that green button. So I'll look through the options and there's actually something to change that. You go back into number five, e-dial programming, and then you go to manual mode. What it's normally set to here for the green button is P-Line that uses the things like MTF or depth of field priority or action priority and that changes both the shutter speed and aperture but you can just select aperture shift so I have that set to aperture shift instead of p-line that means when I press the green button in manual mode it will only change the aperture see that so what I can also do with the K5 is if I'm if I kind of know how much more light the flash will add and I want it to modify the overall exposure, I can add some exposure compensation. So that's pretty good with the K5. We'll see how it works out when I actually do it. Similarly with the K1, it doesn't have all of the control, but it does have the same green button functionality. So let's see. Number three, button customization. And it's got green button. So here it says action in M and TV mode. And it's got the, it's normally on P line, but again with the AV shift. So I can do the same exact thing with the K1. However, I don't think that I can control exposure compensation. What that does is it flips between the two different settings. There might be some way to do it, but I'm not exactly sure. So again, with the thing here, I can control the shutter speed. And then I can let the camera gauge Oops. Gauge the aperture with the green button. Just as a general guideline. I'll be controlling everything manually, but it's nice to have that little bit of extra automation to save me going through settings and, you know, changing both a lot. What you can also do is lock the exposure with the AEL. Same thing with the K5. It's up here. So what that does is once you get an exposure, you lock that down with AEL. This is normally set to AF on the K1, but I switched it. What it does is that when I change the shutter speed, it will change the aperture automatically to use the same ratio. That's very helpful in that situation. So the same thing with the K5, if I lock it down, you see they both change. So once I get an exposure that I want, I can still control depth of field. Like if I wanted thinner depth of field, if I wanted the same exposure, I lock it down, 
or I link them together with the AL, and then I can change them. So that's just a little showing of my setup and settings. See how they work out? I think they'll do quite well. Thanks.